As the first game of this series went to the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards had some words for KD as he knocked down this big three right over the top of him. Edwards around the double team, got a look, butter. Oh, the Timberwolves had the Suns in a cage, and when you get locked up, you can only watch the fun happen as Anthony Edwards soars in for the slam. Anthony Edwards was the player of the night for the Timberwolves, putting up 33 points, 9 rebounds and 6 assists, and now he did turn the ball over 6 times as well, but in totality, Ant himself and his Wolves team played a very good game, but how exactly were they successful in game 1? Well the first quarter itself was a back and forth battle to say the least, as when starting the game, Towns is guarding KD, so KD comes off this down screen to get open on the wing while getting the switch on to Gobert, and although KD would go on to become hot, Gobert shows him why he's the defensive player of the year, making this shot extremely tough. When coming back the other way, you can officially see that playoff physicality on this town's miss as you see Booker give McDaniels a hard bump, but with that length, Jaden is able to stretch out, grab this board, and score right over the top of Booker with ease. With both teams getting their jitters out with the first two plays, the Suns iso out this entire side for Durant since he has Rudy Gobert on him, so after Allen clears the stage, KD takes Gobert to dance class and shows him some mastery. Since the Suns kept getting good looks when going to KD early on, they continued to run offense through him, and trust me, he did not disappoint. Every time the Suns and Wolves met up this season, they would send doubles at Edwards to get the ball out of his hands, so when McDaniels is open on this roll for a split second, Ant needs to make this read immediately, but instead, he pushed to the middle of the floor to get into a sticky situation, and once in no man's land, Ant tries to kick out, but the length of KD takes this away. Throughout the game, we would see Edwards adjust to this in real time. As he makes up for that turnover with a steal himself, this attack going on the right side of the floor would have been perfect as he has the burst of speed to beat Booker, and when he does get to the basket, it can make Nurkic help over, so if he wanted to, he could drop it off to Gobert, but instead of all of that, Ant goes towards the middle of the floor again, and this time he doesn't drive in too far and pulls up at that free throw line for straight cash. The chess match was well underway to start off, so with the Suns seeing success attacking the T-Wolves bigs, they run KD off the screen to have a curl off option or get him the ISO on the left side, but on this play, it's just a decoy to occupy Towns and keep him out the paint, because now when Bill comes off the screen from Nurkic, it makes Gobert and Ant switch, which then opens up this pass over the top for a Nurkic two-hander. The next time the Suns get the ball, they go back to an empty side pick and roll with KD. And here's where you see the Timberwolves slowly adjusting, as when Durant gets into this paint with his float, he's seeing multiple contests this time, which makes it even tougher to sink the bucket. It was highly apparent that the Suns want to go to these clear out plays and spread pick and rolls to target Minnesota's bigs, but normally what would be a contested layup on some plays turns into a kick out because of the presence of Gobert, and when a 24% three-point shooter is letting it fly, this is exactly what you want. The Wolves defense was starting to ramp up and with that length of Jaden McDaniels that we pointed out earlier, he's able to hound Booker when getting downhill and just when it seems like there's an opening, McDaniels pins this off the glass. Everybody here knows that good defense leads to good offense, so with the Suns down a player in transition now, it gives Edwards the open look and it's easy money. Stringing together stops is something you need in a playoff game and with Booker being hesitant to go up because McDaniels is trailing and Gobert is rotating over, he dumps it off to Nurkic on the drive and although he elbows Rudy out the way, the presence of the Frenchman alone causes disruption and the Wolves stop Phoenix once again. To stop that drop for the Suns, they would go back to a reliable guy in Kevin Durant, so by bumping McDaniels and then decelerating on the drive, it allows for Jaden to fly right past for a bank off the glass and with his accuracy and smooth nature, he makes the Wolves pay once again off this ISO pull up. With momentum now in Phoenix's favor, the Wolves go to a Towns post up for some action, and like I said earlier with Edwards, Phoenix likes to double the stars to force them into making the right play, and boy oh boy does Cat make the right read and dump this right over his head for a go bear flush. The rest of this quarter would be about both teams finding their groove, as Anthony Edwards does get caught up in those bad situations again getting his shot blocked, but he would slowly make adjustments by euroing through the traffic to get the bucket and finding an open to kill Alexander Walker for the three ball. Phoenix on the other hand will stay using these high screen and rolls, hoping for the defense to help in to open up a kick out for a 3 pointer or a dish down to the low man. And with one of his 5 made shots all night, Booker is able to create space from Nas Reed for the midi. This first quarter was a dog fight, but only one dog can come out victorious and that was the Timberwolves as they went on to outscore Phoenix every single quarter and prove to them that they mean business. With Gobert just being a scary person to go up against, Allen doesn't even think about it on this drive or with a dump off to O'Neal, so instead he throws it in between two elastic defenders which then gets picked off and becomes a tough bucket at the other end. When you can make it hard for guys to score and show them different looks, this is when you gain an absurd amount of confidence when going back on the offensive end, and trust me, we saw the Wolves playing at a high level with a lot of energy. 
Mike Conley got into this turnaround fade over Booker at the buzzer. Nas Reed got out on the break to give us this nasty carryover into this English reverse. Gobert grabbed himself an and one with this follow away bank off the glass. And with KD on cat, Towns takes it right into his chest and gets the and one. Since Durant was on cat a lot, this screen from Gobert is going to make Nurkic switch or hedge and get back. But since cat rejects the screen and Nurkic is in drop coverage, cat can now get right into a pull up three. With Cat not only being able to shoot, but he can get to the rim as well. When he catches with momentum, he can get past Nurkic with ease. Bill can't help over because he's on Ant. And with Gobert sealing off KD, there's no getting around that. And it's a free coupon at the bucket. With Towns and Edwards being able to work off one another, this high two-man action pulls Nurkic out the paint. And with Nas Reed out in the corner, this pulls KD out the paint as well. So when Ant curls around Cat, there's virtually no help defender in his way at all. And now this layup off the cut is elementary. These right here are the exact passes Edwards needs to make when he's doubled, because as you see here when the Suns double towns, McDaniels is open over the top for a split second, Cat gets it there, and McDaniels finishes the big time bucket with one more at the line. The Wolves were truly connected and playing well, and once Edwards figured out how to pick apart the defense, things got even worse for the Suns. They can no longer send those doubles at him, because with no correct defensive rotations happening, this left shooters open for the deep ball. With those doubles being highly aggressive, Ant found many creative ways to still be effective, such as his nasty spin move into what we thought would be a poster, but with the Suns not aware of Cat rushing inside, he's able to clean it up with ease. Later in the game, we get to see Ant split the double again, but this time it comes directly off the screen, and now with Debug being the last line of defense, Edward steps around him to get to the rack and lays it softly off the back of the rim for the bucket. The Suns truly couldn't contain Edwards once he found the answers, because that's when we saw these mean stop and pops that he banks off the glass. The patience to not run off the screen into the double to then pull up over Allen. The nasty footwork to eventually step through around Booker for this push shot. And not only did he knock down a super deep ball over Bill, but he let KD come get some of that work as well and put one right in his grill to show him that the new face has arrived as the Timberwolves take game one in this first round matchup. 